This video is intended to show you something I've done to my new mill that I bought. It's a CX601 mill from Busy Bee Tools in Canada. It's a tabletop mill and instead of having a knee that raises and lowers like its larger brothers, the head raises and lowers on this. And if you see where the top sprocket is on that chain drive, that's where the handle is to raise and lower the head. And I'm not a particularly tall fellow, and I have an old injury to my right shoulder that bothers me when I reach up that high and wind that crank. So I've made this modification, and this can be applicable to pretty well all of this type of mill, to raise and lower the head. And I'm just, I'm going to run it up and down and show you how well this works. The complete plans are uh, posted on the Home Shop Machinist website. And uh, the, the title of the particular thread is the CX601 milling machine. So without further blathering, I'm going to run that head up and down. And you can see how much more convenient it is with the sprockets and chains. Not only is it more convenient, but with a 18-tooth uh, sprocket on the bottom, and I believe that's a 24 or 26-tooth sprocket on top, it gives you some mechanical advantage as well, so it's not quite so difficult to turn. As I say, uh, the, the plans for this and a couple of drawings are posted on that Home Shop Machinist website, and it's a change that I would certainly recommend for this type of mill, if, if you're not very tall and if it bothers you to reach up at an angle to turn that crank. Thanks very much for watching.